Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see the features and the shortcuts of IntelliJ IDEA. So IntelliJ IDEA is the software developed by JetBrains and it is open source so even you can contribute to it. So this is the IDE which is a replacement for Eclipse. So I had been using IntelliJ for the past uh, 4 and a half to 5 years. Uh, it's extremely good and I feel that it's great for increasing the productivity. So let's go through some of the features uh, inside the latest version of the IntelliJ IDEA along with the shortcuts. So uh, as of now I installed the latest uh, uh, version today. So if you see here the version which I am using is uh, 2017.1 which uh, IntelliJ or the JetBrains released uh, uh, today. So I have just uh, installed that uh, and also some of the viewers had requested me to add some shortcuts related to IntelliJ IDEA. So that's why I had decided to create this video. So I will show you the different, um, uh, so if you are not aware about IntelliJ IDEA, so this is how it looks. So this is nothing but a window. So in Eclipse you would have seen the workspace, right? So in IntelliJ it is called the window. Unfortunately you can have only one project in a window but you can even import them in the, you can even import the other projects inside. So if you see here this is how the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA looks. So if you see this is how the uh, project structure looks like. So the folders, they have changed the folders. If you see my previous videos, the folder would have shown in a different color. Uh, but right now it is showing in a different color because it's the latest version of um, IntelliJ which has changed it. So let's go through the shortcuts which are available right now. I'll go through a uh, few of them. I'll uh, cover for Windows as well as for Mac. So right now I have a MacBook Pro. So I'm, I, I'll, uh, I'll be using the Mac shortcuts but I will parallelly tell what is the shortcut for the Windows. So let's say if you want to search a class file. So you will have to use Ctrl N in Windows. Uh, the same for Mac would be Control O. So let's say I want to search a particular class name called Spring Boot. So I will have to type Control O in MacBook and Control N in Windows. So in uh, in MacBook it is Command O basically. So in Windows it would be Control N. Okay. Let's say if you want to uh, if you if you know that okay the file name is starting with S and then your camel case would be a boot. So you can say S B. So IntelliJ automatically identifies which is your relevant class. So for example, let's say I'm searching users and then I decide that, okay, I want to go to users repository. I type R as caps. It automatically pops up that particular class, which has R as caps. So it is uh, camel case sensitive as well. So it can easily identify your, your class. Okay. And then you can navigate to it. So let's say you want to navigate to a particular line. Okay. So you know that, okay, you're going to that particular class. Okay, you know that okay, you have to go to line number 4. So you can do a colon 4. So if you do a colon 4, it will directly go to the line number 4. If you see here, it has directly gone to the line number 4. So I will show you once again. So I just say uh, a class name and then I say I want to go to, let's say I want to go to line number 14. If I just type that, it will go directly to the line number 14. Okay, so that is one of the shortcut from the same control line option. Okay, if you want to search, uh, so this control N or the con command O option uh, searches only the class files. However, if you want to search all the files in the per current per project, you can use command shift and N in Windows. Okay, and same way it would be command shift and O. So in Windows, it will be control shift and N and uh, in Mac, it would, be, it would be command shift and O. So if you see here, I, I search for app. It is now showing me the app application YAML. So it also says that, okay, you can include non-project files too. If you enable this checkbox, it's going to search the files across the um, libraries. So the jars basically. So it can even search across the jars and you can even navigate to the class files. Also IntelliJ has the um, ability to decode the class file. So you can even decompile this particular uh, class file. So IntelliJ provides that feature also out of the box. Okay, so the next uh, shortcut would be, let's say you want to navigate to these windows right here. So if you see here, the, these windows here, right here are uh, having some numbers with an underlined one, right? So you can use command one. Okay. For example, I'm doing a command one right now. So it opened my project. If I do command two, it will open the favorites. If I do command nine, it is going to open my version control. So same way in windows, it, it is the equivalent command would be control one, control two, same way till the number which is displayed here okay so also IntelliJ provides a terminal if you see here if you want to uh, uh, go and do something uh, in the command prompt you can even open the terminal and directly do something here 
so for example uh, when i do development at office we uh, i just build the project and if i want to push the application to the cloud foundry so i just say cf push here so i don't even have to navigate outside the intellij instead i can do it from the terminal itself that is one of the key feature so let's go through the next uh, shortcut so let's say i have a class okay i want to navigate through the class so in this particular variable i want to go inside this particular class right so what you can do is you can do a control b so control b will directly take you inside the class in the mac it would be command b okay so if you do that command b and control b it will directly take to the class okay so now i'm inside the class now i want to go back so how will i go back so in windows it will be control alt and left arrow okay in mac it would be it would be command and open brace okay if you do that it will shift your focus from the uh, other class to the back to the class from where you originated from okay so that is that is one more shortcut uh, so let's say let's start typing something right so let's say you are um, you have a uh, for example let's say i'm removing this particular import okay intellij is going to give you some suggestions here automatically so if you see here it's popping up some suggestion so you can do a alt enter if you do a alt enter it will automatically show you what are all the different options intellij is going to give you so you can decide whether you want to create a new class you, you want to create a new enum new inner class you interface whatever it is or make private whatever you want to do or you can do a import if you just click on the import it is going to automatically do the import okay so the shortcut for that is alt enter in mac it would be option and enter so option or the alt button and then press the enter so then it will automatically do a import or it will show up uh, what it needs to do okay so uh, same way for example let's say i have a method here i know that this particular method is going to return me some data okay i want to create a variable name so you can use the same shortcut alt enter and intellij will pop up an option saying introduce local variable you just press enter it automatically gives you the option to name variables as well okay so that is one more uh, shortcut so now that i have uh, navigated to different classes i want to open a recent recently opened class so in that case we can use control e in windows and command e in mac so you can see the recent files and you can directly navigate to the files here so you i just say control e and then so when you do lots of uh, coding you want to switch between files it is it is easier to use this particular shortcut con command e or control e so that will show you the recent files and you can just flip it so you don't even have to use your mouse to navigate through the class files okay so that is one more shortcut so the next one would be a, a very useful shortcut which i felt that it is great i didn't see that in any other ide so which is the uh, paste history so let's say i am uh, copying some file so i let's say i copied name i copied id but i want to paste name somewhere i decide i i lost that so how will i do that so you can use control shift and b so in that case intellij will show you what are the, all the list of history which you copied so it is basically uh, store the it will basically store the clipboard in its history so it's basically a paste history so if you see here these are different things which i copied okay so you can decide and uh, paste whatever you want okay that is the shortcut so control alt control shift v in windows and command shift v in the mac okay so next one would be for extracting some method so for example here i have i have written lots of lines so let's say um, i have written lots of lines here right i i want to extract these two lines into a method so what i can do is i can say control alt m in uh, windows so that this will be extracted into a method in the mac it would be command option m so it, then you can name a method so you can just say some method name it will automatically extract those lines into a separate method so the shortcut would be control alt and m in windows command option and m in mac okay so same way let's say i want to extract a variable so for example here i have a string here i want to extract this into a variable okay so let's uh, do that right so here it would be contra control alt and v same way in win, uh, in mac it would be command option and v if i do that intellij will automatically prompt me and say what is the variable name you want to have so i just said greeting here okay so that is one more shortcut 
so let me show you another shortcut so you want to copy this particular line again right so for example you have a you have a line you want to copy this and then you want to change something in inside alone so what you can do is you can do a control d in windows or you can do a command d so if i do command d it automatically copies the line and then pastes again so you don't have to say control c control v you just say con control d okay it will automatically paste you the line again in the next line same way if you want to copy group of lines you just select those group and then say command d or the control d it will automatically paste those lines so now if we, if you see i have a repeated strings here i want to extract this into a variable so intellij is so intelligent that okay you just do control alt and v it will automatically ask you whether you want to replace that particular instance or all the instances so you just say all the instances it is automatically going to convert them into the variable so this is one more shortcut okay so if you are uh, writing some uh, uh, getter methods or you are uh, trying to do something again and again and you want to extract that out this would be easier you can e easily do a replace all okay so that is one more uh, shortcut so let's go through the code completion so let's say i have a model here right i have three different uh, variables i want to create the generate uh, uh, getters and the setters so you can use the control e or the command e to do recent files same way you can use alt insert okay or command n so if i take if i do command n it will automatically show me what i need to create either a constructor or a getter or a setter or a equals or a hash code if i do equals or hash code i can de even decide what type of equals or hash code builder i need to use either the intellij idea default or the hash code builder or the equals builder from the apaches okay so the shortcut is command n in uh, mac and it is alt insert inside windows so you can even i can just say these and then generate okay same way you can even override methods so if you see here you can even override methods or implement methods using that you can do two string override so anything you can do so you can generate code out of the box using this shortcut okay so i think that's it uh, i will not go through inter uh, internally uh, uh, on the uh, every shortcut but there is an important feature uh, available in the help called the productivity guide so if you go to the productivity guide it will show you the different shortcuts which are available out there and how many times you have used uh, used that shortcut and when did you use last so for example i can sort by used so if you see here the basic completion i have used it 887 times variable name completion i have used 725 times syntax aware selection i am used 622 times so if you see here it also shows when did i use it last so if you don't know any shortcut and if you want to see or um, check any shortcut which uh, you can come to this productivity guide anytime and then it will show you the shortcuts and you can even see how to what is the command and what is what is the command for the uh, uh, the keyboard uh, keyboard shortcut for that particular command as well okay so that's it for this particular video meet you again in the next video thank you